Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find that ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Let me invite you today to take your Bibles, turn with me over to the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter number 6, and let's look at verse 20 as a text verse of Scripture. The Bible says, but lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven. Lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. It says, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. And friends, I pray that God would add his special blessings to the reading of his precious word today. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together, have an encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. My goodness. Friends, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Fresh coffee and a fresh word from God. <clears throat> Today I want to bring to you a devotion that is titled, Where is Your Treasure? Where is your treasure? You know, my friends, many people today are building their lives on the rock of materialism. You go across the country and you see a deep economic discontent among people in every walk of life. You ride up and down the highways and you see get rich quick scheme signs everywhere. Be an instant millionaire overnight. People are so wrapped up in those type of things today and how sad that is. We still have poverty in our country. Hundreds of agencies are working trying to do something about it, but we're living in a very dissatisfied world. We want more, more, more. But Jesus has said to us, we can't serve God and money. He said that a man's life does not consist in the abundance of the things that he possesses. A man said in his study of PowerPoints out that riches often make people solitary and lonely and afraid. Many times uh, a rich man knows loneliness and fear because when he makes wealth his God, it leaves him empty. My friends, you see, without God, Life loses its zest, life loses its purpose, and life loses its meaning. If you really want to be rich, get to know God. He'll make you rich in spirit. And friend, he'll never leave you, nor will he ever forsake you. Place your treasure in him. Make him your treasure. Get to know the Lord Jesus Christ personally and be blessed. Think about that and pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for the greatest riches of all, a personal relationship with you. And Heavenly Father, we don't take that for granted. We praise you for it. 
And now, God, I pray for that one that needs that type of relationship most of all, that you would draw them by your Spirit and that they too might experience the wealth of knowing a great God like you. Thank you, dear Lord, for your love, your mercy, your grace, and salvation. Bless it in our lives, I pray now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion has been a blessing to you today. And if it has, you be a blessing to someone else by sharing it with them. And remember, your life is the only Bible that some may ever read. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Again, God bless you. A new year is fastly approaching. Happy New Year to you and your family. Have a blessed day.